Hi everyone, in this video I will demonstrate how to edit a quote inside of Mobile Quote. So here we are on the My Quote screen and I'm going to go ahead and tap on a quote to open it. When this quote was created in a previous video, we went through a five-step wizard where you set all of the default settings for the quote. If you need to modify those at any point, click the Quote Settings button in the upper right hand corner and that will take you to the quote settings. In here you can change um, the quote name, a client name, enter an address, um, all of the stuff that was in that initial wizard. What you can also do here is edit the email template uh, down here. And that's the email that can be sent out to your client after you created the quote. And we'll go ahead and cover that in another section, but this is where you can edit that. I'll click it very quickly here, and I'll show that again when we actually approve a quote in another video. And I'll go ahead and click Cancel here in the upper left-hand corner, and that will take us back to the Rooms view. Now I'll show you how to edit an item that is already in the quote. So here I am in the Equipment room. I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom, and here you'll see in the Network system there are two items that have been added. To edit an item, tap on it. This will open up the item where you can see uh, Quantity field. If you want to change that, you certainly can. Uh, the Unit Price labor hours, as well as a calculation showing the equipment labor and install price. Here you could set the item to be OFE or owner furnished equipment, so it will not charge a price, but it will still charge the labor. Now if you'd like to, you could change the quality from better to good or best in this form here. And you could also add comments if you'd like. I'll go ahead and click done. Now if you want to delete an item, just tap the item hold and swipe left. You'll see a delete button will appear, and then just go ahead and tap that if you really want to delete it. If not, you can uh, tap and swipe right to close that. Also worth mentioning here, which is more of a view thing than an editing thing, but you can collapse a particular, in this case, system by tapping the icon next to it, and that will collapse all of the items uh, within that. And if you'd like to expand it, go ahead and tap that again. We'll scroll up so you can then again see those items. or uh, if you'd like to collapse or expand all systems, you can click these buttons along the top. And similarly, if we go over to the systems view, you can collapse or expand a single room or all rooms with the buttons along the top. I'm going to go back to the rooms view and click on the living room. If you want to edit a specific room's details, click the room details button in the upper right hand corner. Here you can add a comment if you'd like rename the room, or you could take a picture of the room that will be stored within the iPad app for that specific room. And at the bottom you have the option to delete the room. I'll go ahead and click Done. And similar to this, if you're on the System screen, you'll see a System Details button along the top. In this case, Audio is selected. If you click the System Details button, you're able to add a comment or you can rename the system. Here you cannot add an image for a system. Um, you can only do that for rooms. I'll go ahead and click Done. And while I'm here on the System screen, I'll show you another method for deleting rooms. All you have to do is tap the room and hold and swipe left, and you'll see that two buttons will appear. The first one is to delete from this system only. In this case, we have the audio system selected along the top. Or you can delete this room from all systems. Now, if I go back to the Rooms view, over here, you can do the same thing for deleting a system. If you tap a system, hold, and swipe left, you'll see two buttons will appear. Delete from this room only or delete from all rooms. Go ahead and swipe back right to close that. Now here on the room screen, if you would like to add a room, click the Add Room button here in the upper right hand corner. And that will have a drop down of all available rooms that have been synced down from SI. Or you could click the Custom button and create a room of any name. I'll tap again to close that. And from this screen, if you'd like to add a system, click the little plus sign along the systems bar, and that will allow you to add um, any systems that are not currently in this project. Or you can add a custom one there from the custom link. Uh, click that and you can type any name you'd like. And similarly, if you are on the systems view, Along the top, you'll see that there is an Add Systems button. If you'd like to add a system, or if you'd like to add a room, click the plus sign on the Rooms bar. And the last thing I want to show you in this editing a quote video is how to rearrange items within a room or within a system. So I'm going to click the Rooms button here along the bottom, and I'm going to select Equipment Room along the top, and I'll scroll down to uh, Network. 
and you can see that there is more than one item in the network system. To rearrange the items, tap on the bar next to the system name and swipe right. You'll see that the edit button will appear, and if you click that, then you'll be able to use the little pancake symbol over on the right hand side to rearrange items. Just tap, hold, and then move those into the position you would like. Here you can also delete an item by tapping the little red minus sign over on the left hand side. And that is how you edit a quote inside of Mobile Quote.